Hi, Mitch Bailey here. Uh, okay, uh, one of uh, somebody commented that they wanted to see how to do a set up two air handlers or two systems in a house. I'm going to show you real quick on this one uh, right here. So this house is one that we did in Stockton, and it's got one system currently over here in a closet. But what I'm going to do is we're we're going to go to our tree. The house is already drawn. I got all the, where all the registers are and how much it's supposed to be. And if we go over here, we'll we'll uh, go to this our um, multi-zone tree and you notice this is entire house so there's one air handler this is one uh, piece right there at the top that uh, shows it's one air handler so what we're going to do is I'm going to add another zone so we're going to add a zone and we're going to call this one the living zone so living because I'm going to I'm going to put a zone on this on the sleeping area now we're going to add an air handler to that too so we'll have two systems and we're done but so I just added that. So now I got to put in there in the living area what it goes. So the living room, it contains uh, the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, the family room, the laundry. So we're going to put all that in there. I'm just going to drag them over. So kitchen, um, family room, uh, laundry, uh, and then uh, office. Uh, no, the office is, I'm sorry, the office is on that side. So we don't need that. Just the dining room is all that's left. And that does the whole, that, that's the whole, I have two zones now, okay? I still only have one air handler, but I have two zones. So the ones the rest of the house, I'm going to rename this one to sleeping. Because it's on the sleeping side of the house, okay? And then uh, you might, like, in this case, I could put the den on that one. But this is a pretty good way this is divided up. It should work really well if we were going to do two systems or zoning. So now the house is zoned. So basically, um, I have one unit for the entire house, and it's zoned. So I can actually, uh, when I um, uh, do this, it, it makes it to where I can have... Uh, I start running my ducks out, and it automatically sets the the each of the zones up. I can add a second return over here, so uh, we'll put another return over on this side of the house. So uh, technically, the ones are coming through the wall, but we'll stick one over here, like off the kitchen area over here. So there's a second return, uh, and then I can map those. The way you map them is you go in and and uh, toggle um, supply return link supply to return register. So you click on that and then just uh, go through and hit shift key and then uh, take them off or take them on. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm going to do all these and highlight them all. And those all will go to that one. I just hit SR, which is supply, link supply and return. And suddenly they're all linked. And then on this other return, I'm going to click on it. And I just want to click on this one, this, uh, uh, click on the return. Come on, click on the return. Click on the register, and then I'm going to link that register with the other one. So I'm going to link it to there. And so the, that links the return. So these should total up close to those and vice versa. So if you click on the return, you can see all the ones kind of darken for the registers that are on going to that return. And if I click on the other return, you can see that it, it, it goes, it darkens all those so that which return handles which one. So now, We've got our, we've got it zoned. This is how zoning works. So I can put a separate thermostat on this side of the house, a separate thermostat over there, and it'll work perfectly. But now I want to add a second air handler. I want two units in this house. Um, instead of zoning, we're going to put two smaller units. What, what size do we have in the whole house? According to this, uh, right out of four tons. I'd be in four tons. So let's go and see what we do if we if we zone this. So we'll go back to the drawing, but I'm going to go to the multi-zone tree, and I'm going to put in another in the sleeping area over here. I'm going to put in uh uh another another uh air handler so i just add air at air handler and we're going to call this uh ah2 which will be uh this is for the sleeping side click ok so ah2 it currently has a master bath and um uh the the zoning on it so i'm going to bring up the uh we're going to bring up the master bedroom i'm going to bring up the office i'm going to bring up the kids room and uh, the den and the bathroom and drag them all over there and so they're all on AH2 now and AH1 is the ones for the living room so, so everything's zoned now for that now th there's a problem the equipment if we go back over and look at our equipment um, we don't have notice how this went to zero over here and currently it says up here I'm on AH2 
So I'm going to have to dial in my what kind of unit it is first. And this uh, is not a gas furnace. This is actually go to system type. I'm doing an air source heat pump. So go back to that. Change this to 0.5 inches because that's the available or that's a static it's rated for. So 0.5 inches. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to close this. Go hit apply and OK. And then I'm going to go over here to my uh, uh, spec sheet here. I'm going to open up my uh, uh, sheet here for my uh, static pressure for air handler 2. Let me just go ahead and just close this right here. So air handler 2, notice how I still have to put in. I don't have a friction rate. I'm, <laughs> I need to put in what my friction rate is going to be by adding all this stuff. So this is an air handler. So the coil is included. They're, they're only supply diffusers. So 0 0.03 for the supply diffusers, 0 0.03 for the return air grill. I'm going to do 0 0.1. One five. I'm going to put a, a pleated filter in this particular one, and uh, there will be a balancing damper, so 0 .3, 0 0.03 for the balancing damper. So I have available static of 0.26, so the computer will calculate everything else. I do need to go over, though, and tell it what it is, and it's because it doesn't know what kind of ductwork system, so it's going to be flex with Ys, and then I'm going to go in here, and I prefer to have my round. I don't use 5-inch in ours, so we'll just close 5 out. Uh, yeah, it's going to save that. Now, uh, airflow, I'm going to, I like to dial mine up just a little bit. I'm going to be uh, at 800 feet per minute for my, and then I'm going to be at 1,000 for my uh, supply ducts, uh, trunk lines. And then return, I'm just going to, I'm going to, uh, 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 trunk, we're going to go ahead and make this 800 and leave it 600 for the returns. We want the returns to be fairly quiet. And I like to use uh, rectangular registers. And we're just going to make them all 14 by 6 right now. So 14 by 6. And the filter grills, I'm going to make them uh, 25, uh, 20 by 25. So, and it does say floor two-way. It really doesn't matter. Computer doesn't doesn't care. But I'll put ceiling grills, and this is also ceiling grills. So, boom. All that's done. We go back to our drawing. So this is, this is uh, uh, which system is this? Let me see. This was, I think this is, let's look at see what air handle this is. So that's H2. That's the one we just did, okay? So, um, uh, and so we just dialed that one in. So let's go ahead and dial in H, the other air handler. And so this air handler, uh, H1, if we go up here, you see it's on H1 base system. Again, it, we're going to tell it that's an air source heat pump. We got to go back in and change, put the static in there, uh, uh, 0.5. And then I got to go and do the same thing that I did in the last one to go ahead and change it to, uh, uh, get my static pressure set, my friction rates. Oh, this one already has it, but it doesn't have a coil. So we're going to change that to zero because this was going off what the old system was. And it's 0.15 and everything else. So we should still have the same friction rate for the other one. Is it flex wise? No. So we're going to flex with wise. I'm going to change this to maximum velocity to uh, 800 and change this to 1000 and change this over here to. Uh, uh, a thousand over here. It doesn't really matter on this because there's no trunk line for the uh, returns. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to change this from round to rectangular. Go 14 by 6, and uh, I'm going to go 20 by 25 again. Um, 20 by 25, and uh, I do have to go in here, go standard round. So I, I don't do 5 inch. This has already been, I've already dealt this one, so this one's good. We're good there. So everything, we're ready to go to where to draw our house. So if we go in here and we start drawing our house, so this air handler, which is, uh, let me look at my tree. So air handler two, um, that one does the master bedroom. So let's see where that's located at. Let me double check. Uh, let's see what our property sheet says. So this is air handler two. So this one is air handler one. So we're going to move it over to the garage. So we're going to put this one in the garage. Let me go ahead and. Uh, and they handle the living room side. So it's in the garage. And the other one's going to go in this furnace closet they have right here. So here's the furnace closet. And uh, let me close this. Oh, I had a second return over here. I'm going to dump this return, delete that return. Let's see. And it has another return here. Let me get rid of that one. It wasn't allowing me to get rid of it. No, i got to get rid of that one. So let's see which, which one return this is. So this return is to air handler 2, which is this one over here, which handles the, if you look, the air handler 2 is handling the master bedroom, master baths. So we're good there. So uh, that's all good. This is air handler 1. And make sure that you just want to double check. Um, yeah, let me move this out of the way. 
there and get that red strap out of the way. We want to make sure that all the everything is uh, all on each return. So this this one is handling all these. It did add a register over here, so I'm going to delete one of them because I only have one register in that room. I only have one register in this room, so I'm going to delete that one. And we're all good. Now in the living room, there's only one register, so I'm going to get rid of that. Same thing with the family room, there's only one register. And in the kitchen, there's only one register. So I'm going to get rid of the ones where there are extras. Uh, it did bump up the, the CFMs because basically it divided in two. And um, it does all that automatically, but it, this, is, this is how you should be doing it. So we've got our living and everything looks good there. So let's go ahead and start drawing ducks. You're just going to go ahead and grab your duck work. And we're just going to, I'm just going to make an octopus. I'm just going to run it out. And there, there's my one duck. If it's not making a connection uh let's see what am i what am i doing here wrong hang on a second let me grab this and run it over here let's see if it's uh yeah i got the wrong air handlers so let's delete that take this air handler and move it over i put the wrong air handler in the wrong section so let's put it back over boom boom now then let's do it this way so supply duct to here oh darn what am i doing wrong here so uh, shouldn't be doing that. Let's go back to our mapping again and make sure we have air handler two, air handler one. Um, so I've got to make this, I got to put a zone in here. So I'm going to add a zone here and we're going to call that one. It should be sleeping, but I don't think we're using it anymore. Click on OK. So they're sleeping and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to delete this zone out of here. Uh, delete zone delete the zone yes and so all these are back in there so I've got sleeping living air handler one air handler two let's double check to make sure our ducks are gonna tie in correctly so boom yeah I get my ducks and so I can just start drawing my ducks I can just start pulling them to where I need them I've told the system what to do and as long as I mapped it out correctly let's see let's go let's take a look at this register where's it tied to Let's see which system it's tied to. So it says Air Handler 2. So I might need to change that, uh, which register that goes to. Let's see. Air Handler 1. So I have to go in and change this duck where it goes. So let me make sure I've got these mapped correctly. Um, yeah, so these are not, this is not mapped correctly. Uh, let me. Close that. Pull this out. It's not mapped correctly. It's 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 hooking the other one up to the other one. So let's take this. Oh, that's why I was I was tying in the living room. That's why I do got to switch these around. So let me delete that duck. Delete this duck, and switch these around again to where they're correct. All right, now they're right. I got the air handlers in the right location. So this is air handler two, I believe. Let's see. Uh, air, it's air handler 2 and air handler 2 handles the sleeping area and so air handler 1 so over here is handling the um, uh, which I just clicked on is handling the living area okay we're good there now I can drag my registers so uh, drag my ducks and so now I can drag my ducks over so I got this bathroom I've got this other bedroom over here I've got these this bedroom over here we're gonna Y this one off so we're gonna take it over there Drag our duck over, and we're going to put a Y in this one. So I'm going to grab it right here and put a Y in. That's all done. Now I just got a couple of supplies over here, and then this system is complete. So I'm just going to drag one over right there, and then I'm just going to take it off here. And boom, we're done. This system's all, all, di this system's all done. Now I just got to do the second system. Again, it's going to be, uh, and you notice if they're not tying, tying in, then you've got the wrong air handler. So that's a six inch. So let's go ahead and catch this living room and dining room with this one and grab it here, dial it in, boom, six inch to this room, 10 inch coming off. And then I'm going to have um, direct run to this one. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead. Let's move this register down a little bit over here. Uh, let me get the uh, uh, let's hit shift. 
I can move this dining room name real quick. Drag that over. And let's go ahead and draw just real quick another duck off of here. So we'll have a... I didn't quite catch it, so i got to bring it over and catch it. So let me zoom in on it. And there's a, a easier way to do this, but there, there, got it. So now, and if you wonder what this fitting looks like, I can look at this fitting. So um, the the fitting here, it's it's 11s tight. So I can go in there, and it tells me what it is. It's this Y right here, and I can change it if I want to change it from that to this Y, which is one I usually use. I can just click on it and change it. Same thing with this one. It's not 11s. I'm using. I'm using this 45 degree T basically and click OK. Does that change stuff? Notice how the duck size has changed. So let me go back. Let me, let's just hit undo. I'll hit undo twice. Undo. And now it's at, so notice how it changed to 10 inches because, uh, uh, and I'm going to edit undo again. And the reason being is because these Y's are more restrictive. Okay. It's because that's not a true, it's not a true Y. This is, if you look at the drawing here, this is a two, true Y, this is a pant Y or other words, and the other one's a 45 degree T, which is what most people buy anyhow. So, okay, and then if you want to see what the other fittings look like, so this one is this fitting here, which is the fitting 1A, which is just a plenum, okay? So just, just real quick showed you how to zone it. Then you got, you got to create two zones, two separate zones, and then you add air handlers to the zones, and each of the air handlers will uh, have its own, you gotta map out the returns and supplies to make sure they're correct. And then you can just start laying out your duck work and you're done. Drawing a, a two system house is very easy. It's the same as drawing a zoning system. You just gotta add a second air handler and rename them, basically that's it. So if you go back to our tree, we're all set here. We got H2, which is handling the sleeping area. And I have H1, which is handling the living area. And if we look at the size, so let's just click on H2. It should come up if I look at this. Um, make sure we're on age two. So it shows we're on zone information for age two. We can go over here and we look down and say that we need a two in it. Well, I'm going to change this because I don't need that. We're going to change this to 0.85. So um, I hit F8 and that 0.85 is my standard. I might have changed the other one off the list. Let's see real quick. So it's, I need a two ton air conditioner for that one. And let's go, let's go take a look at the other one. So let's, let's uh, look at the tree and we'll go to H1. Let's go ahead and look at our zone for H1. If you look up here, I'm on H1 now, and I need uh, 2.3 tons. But again, I'm going to change this to 0.85. I want 0.85 for my, because uh, here in California, this area of California, we don't need 0.70 for a sensible heat ratio. So uh, we're down to two tons again. So I need two two-ton systems. Before the house was two one four-ton system. Now it's two two-ton systems. And we're fine. Could I get a buy with a one and a half ton? If I bump up my sensible heat ratio to 0 0.9, let's go ahead and go uh, 0.92 or 9.5. We'll go 9.2 and hit enter. Now I can't really get one and a half tons. Not going to do it. And this is a heat pump. We need the heat side of it too. And you notice on the heat side, I need 20,000 BTUs. So I'm I'm going to need to go with uh, a 0.85 and leave it at that. And I'll probably put supplemental heat strips just on the colder days. It'll kick in the heat strips. Uh, and then on H, uh, on the uh, other one, the other systems, that's H1. Let's look at H2. H2 is there, 0.85. Uh, again, H2, it's got, it shows a two ton. If I change this one to 0.92, uh, can we get it down lower? Probably not. It's going to do the same thing. We're, we, we're still at 1.8 ton, so yeah, we just, we're, we're just better off, um, um, leaving it at 0.85 on this one so because we need that extra heat and that's other than that the system's good to go it's very easy to do this in right soft you don't have to do a lot of steps draw your house out first then select what how you want to zone it and then just add air handlers for each of the zones you need and it it's a simple simple easy to do you saw how quickly i did this so all right i hope that helped you and i'll post this online tonight if i can Thanks for watching. Oh, please like and subscribe, and uh, uh, then it'll help the algorithm. More people will see this, and hopefully, you know, makes this a little simpler. You guys are out there doing this. You're in the field in the trenches every day. Let's do some systems right, and let's make it all work. All right. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye.